You guys ever seen two engine blocks headed to the machine shop on a tractor? Now you have.
think we got all the machine work done now. That was a, a fairly long process and I have never done any machine work like that in my life. So um, the guy that lives down the road from us, like I said, he's nice enough just to let us use his equipment. And I went down there and he kind of gave me some pointers. And anyways, I, I decked both both of our blocks. So these are both uh, Dart LS Next blocks. One's my new block that we dry decked which was extremely difficult to machine. The welding um, was, was really hard. And, and we even used those specific welding rods that were supposed to be easily machinable. Uh, but it was still, still really difficult. And we went through a lot of, a lot of cutting tips. Um, but we got, we got the deck surfaces flat. We got the, the deck height set on both blocks to where they need to be. I got my block bored out. That was a really long process too because the uh, it was a four inch bore block and I had to take it to 4.140 finished bore. So it was, uh, that, was a, that was a lot of cutting on the, the boring machine. And then honed Steven's block. Um, really, we were just putting a fresh set of rings in his block so it didn't have to take out much. Mine honed it to, to final specs to get the correct piston wall clearance that we were shooting for and uh cut the top fuel hoops in in both of our blocks stevens i just kind of uh fixed the depth on them because his block already had them cut mine i had to completely cut them uh from scratch and that was probably the most difficult part because of those welds on on my block where we dry decked it it uh it we broke quite a few carbide bits and uh but anyways we we got it done so and the heads are assembled now, so I'm gonna take these back and get get them assembled. I'm gonna assemble mine, and then we'll hopefully get it in the car this coming week and get the car running. So we'll see you guys later.